Then on your side is your local election headquarters. The votes in the 83rd House District race have now been counted and recounted. Republican Chris Stolle challenged the results after Democrat Nancy Guy beat him by just 27 votes. Then to your side's Andy Fox has been following this race closely from day one. Andy, do we know the results of the recount yet? Well, Tom and Anita, I just spoke with the attorney for Nancy Guy, who was here. She did not want to do an on-camera interview. She said, Andy, I don't want to jinx it. But her legal team told me she picked up 13 votes in this recount. Along with the 27 she had, that's 40. She is now winning this race by 40 votes. And the bottom line here is that there are still votes to be counted tomorrow morning. 4,000 absentee votes, but she's confident at the end of the day she will win the recount. It's finger biting time for delegate elect Nancy Guy's attorney. Can she hold on to a 27 vote winning margin? Guy's other attorney, Kevin Biniazin. Have you seen any erosion of her 27 vote lead? Not that we have noticed, no. Were you expecting to see any? Or is this playing out just the way you thought it this would? This is playing out pretty much exactly how we thought it would. 10 on your side was the only television media in the recount room. Boxes from the 18 precincts plus absentee brought up from a secure vault in the voters registrar's office. The ballots to be recounted are taken out of the boxes and run through this high speed counter. Look how fast the machine can process thousands of ballots to be recounted. If there's a difference, we're not going back and try to determine why there's a difference. We're, we are making a, a new count. And it's just like the previous election didn't happen, and we're, we're starting all over again. Then the ballots, including questionable ones spit out by the machine for further examination, are taken to one of five recount tables. Election officials then try to figure out the voters' intent. If the two sides can't agree, they will be sent to Circuit Court Judge Glenn Croshaw's panel for final determination next Wednesday. Voter Registrar Donna Patterson. I'm watching how the ballots are going from the clerk. They're coming up from the vault, they're going to the tables, how they're going through the high-speed scanner. So I'm just really observing the room and how things are going. Keeping a watchful eye, Delegate Chris Stolle's attorney, Jeff Marks. Good planning results in a good process, which, which results in a good result. So, uh, yeah, it's been going well. Does your guy pick up 27 votes? Don't know. The story's still being written. And the story is still being written. We still have the 4,000 votes, the absentee votes to be counted tomorrow. But as I reported, Nancy Guy picked up 13 votes, bringing her total to 40. I do want to say that in East Ocean View, which is about two thirds of that precinct in the 83rd, Nancy Guy held the same number she had on Election Day, 625 to Colin Stolle's 514. Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6, some reaction to both sides, from both sides, on what happened today. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.